طلع من الأشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد عليه أفضل الصلاة والسلام السسليم كتاب ترافلر 1 البرنامج المشترك موديول 3 إي رايتنج معكم المشرفة عبير الحميدي In the previous lesson we made some comparison using different kinds of uh, uh, nouns and adjectives uh, In this module we're going to, students will be able to or you will be able to inshallah talk about cities, places and the facilities they include we're going to write a description of a place, in this case, one of the Saudi cities. Now, I want you to look at the first uh, activity, sp speaking. Uh, sometimes when you have a conversation between two people, some, some students don't listen. She's memorizing or she memorizes certain lines and then she recalls these lines. It's very important when you make a conversation between two people, you need to listen carefully to what the other person is saying. You need to, for example, in order for you to agree or disagree or give a, your, a, your own opinion, you need to focus on their, for example, words. For example, in this exercise, uh, you're supposed to have a you know, conversation about these or three, uh, three, three people here. We have Kareem and we have Ryan and we have Harry. Now, in this conversation, we're supposed to talk about their interests, where they like and their dislike, in order for us to choose the best city for them. So in order for you to choose the best city, you have to know what they like and what they dislike, so you won't choose the wrong city. For example, Kareem likes art, eating out, and traveling. He doesn't like shopping or nature. Uh, Ryan, in the, uh, on the other hand, he likes sports, reading, and shopping, and he dislikes art. Uh, Harry likes museums, nature, swimming, and he dislikes going out. Now, if, if you make a conversation between two, we're going to go through the cities before we do the conversation. For example, Chicago is famous for beautiful parks and beaches. There are a lot of sports facilities and museums. New York has uh, museums, galleries. It's famous for wo world famous shops and huge variety of restaurants. Uh, Minneapolis is famous for lakes, parks, with sports activities and large shopping center. Now, in your uh, book, you have this, uh, this is like a line for you. You can use that line to guide you when you make the conversation. For example, if you start the conversation by saying, I think the most suitable city for Kareem is, and you have to choose one of these cities, and you have to give your reasons. Without any prejudice, you're not just deciding for him, you're deciding based on his interest. Okay? Now, if, for example, I'm going to play a conversation with you now, if you disagree with me, if I choose the wrong city, in your opinion, you have to give me a reason because you're going to say he doesn't like that place or he likes that one or I don't agree with you. It's uh, up to you, but you have to give me a very important reason for your uh, answer. For example, here you have, I have these choices for my, uh, for For example, Kareem, in my choice, I would say uh, the best city for Kareem is New York. This is my uh, reason. Since Kareem likes art and eating out, uh, New York is famous for museums and galleries. He also likes traveling. So he, he would prefer that because there are famous shops and restaurants. Now, if you disagree, you say, okay, but he dislikes shopping. And New York has a lot of shopping. This is uh, one of the reasons that you can give me. For example, Ryan. I think Ryan, um, I would choose uh, Minneapolis for Ryan because it has a lot of lakes and parks and he, uh, for example, likes sports and reading. Um, for example, I would choose, for Harry, I would choose Chicago because it has beautiful parks and beaches, lots of sports facilities and he likes swimming. It's also uh, famous for museums and he likes museums. So one of the conversation you can play with your friends, talk about two people, two people's interests, and you have to present yourself well. You have to have these ideas. You have to justify your answer. I agree. Um, I don't know about that. I don't, dis for example, I disagree with you. I don't think, but you have to be civil and you have to present yourself in the best way you can. Now, this is the first part. The second part, we're going to go through a description of a place. Of course, we're supposed to write about Yumba. Uh, we're supposed to write about one of the cities, but this, the example you have here is about Yumba. I want you to look carefully at the paragraph. 
um, I'm not going to read it very, you, I want you to read it silently so we can uh, understand what is exactly going on in this paragraph because we're going to try to write our own version of another city. For example, I want you to look at paragraph one. Since you're writing about a city, you have to tell me what is the name of the city? Where is it, for, for example, which part of that country? For example, is it in the north, in the south? Also, you have to give me a general idea. Sometimes you're going to say that it was the best city you have, have uh, ever visited or it's the, the, uh, the city that is famous in that country for any reason. Second paragraph, you have to have details now. You have to recall the information. Why are you choosing that city? For example, you can say that it's famous for its museums, it's, uh, for example, parks, shopping centers, restaurants, uh, friendly people, a clean environment. You have to give me choices and you have to give like choices for that person to go to, plus names of locations like streets, uh, names of, for example, um, shopping centers and so on. Also here, uh, you, in the second paragraph, it's also more details about the city. So you can have like, for example, the first part, it can be about locations. What, what, what can you do there and how you can, for example, do your activity in that place. Last one, this is my favorite part because here you're going to end, you're going, you have a closure. You have to finish the paragraph and you have to justify uh, your choice or you have to give that person a push. So you encourage them to go to that city. Of course, we chose, uh, or Yumbo is chosen here because it's one of the Saudi cities. Now, I'm going Four. to talk about uh, the paragraph now with you in details. Now, in the same page, you have um, uh, two exercises or three. The first one, he says, read the text and choose A, B, or C. The text is, now, uh, from my you know, explanation of the pa passage, do you think the answer is A? This is the passage about part of a story that happened in Yumba? Or is it a description of Yumba? Or is it an advertisement about a holiday in Yumba? Of course, it's about a description of Yumba. Now, I like the second paragraph. It's like analyzing or summarizing what is inside each part of the passage. Read again and answer the following questions. You're supposed to be uh, you know, reading at home. And we're going to match the numbers to the paragraphs. For example, you have paragraph one, two, three, four, five, uh, four, uh, four, four, four paragraphs. For example, the first one, describe what tourists can do there. Which par part of the paragraphs? Is it one, two, three, or four? Uh, the, the part that says, say how or she feels about the place. Which part? Describe some places in the city. Which one was a description? And number four, give general information about the place. What I like about these details is it's going to help us now or guide us how can uh, using it will help us to write uh, our own version of another paragraph. Now, which one? Paragraph three was, a dis you know, what can you do in that place, in that paragraph? Uh, number four, how that person feels. It's the end. She's very happy and she's, you know, encouraging other people to visit Yumba. And this, the description exactly where to go, what do you do in Yumba, it's number two. To give a general information about the place, it was the first one. It's a general information about the place, where is, you know, uh, the location and how you, for example, you can find it in the, on the map. Now, which adjectives does the writer use to make the description more lively? Now, we said in the last lesson, we described, we, we compared two people, we compare two things using different adjectives. Here, we're going to use adjectives again, but this one is a description. You have to say, how, for example, um, you have to describe that place. We have many, many adjectives. Of course, it depends on your own city, for example, why you like that. In this, for example, paragraph, these are the adjectives that has been used uh, or have been used. Relaxing, interesting, narrow, Impressive, okay, beautiful, fantastic, fascinating, unforgettable, wonderful. Of course, for you to describe a certain, for example, city, you have to now, or you have to have a background of that. For example, if it's a historical 
place. You can say it's um, for ancient, for example. If it's uh, it has a lot of art, you have to say, for example, it's uh, full of uh, beautiful or wonderful. It depends on your description. Now, for us to write, this is your writing task. We're going to write a description of a place you've visited. Your description should be between 100 and 120 words. Now. Uh, here, it's also, it's in your, you can go to the workbook, page 42. Here also are some tips for you, plus what we took before. When writing a description of place, before you start, write down some ideas. It means that you have to be prepared. You have to have a note, and you brainstorm the ideas. You think about that place. You have to have names of, for example, shops or restaurants or streets. And you have to connect every, for example, place with for example, different uh, description. You can say, for example, the streets are very clean, or they are very. Uh, you have. You can say the environment is, uh, for example, healthy. You have to. You can say, for example, the parks are full of friendly people. You have to have certain description with each place or which each, uh, each location. Now, when you develop, you develop your ideas and write about the most important, or interesting features of that place. It's, uh, it's like um, you're, not, you're not telling people to come, but you're telling them why you chose that place. If it comes, for example, if you're talking about uh, art museums or galleries or restaurants or shopping centers or even health, uh, for example, a section of the park. For example, if you need, for example, uh, to go to the hospital, you also have centers there. So it depends on how you present that, uh, for example, according to your own experience. Now, when you divide your text into paragraphs, as shown, for example, in the in Yumba, in the part with Yumba, I'm going to show you now how we do it. We use a variety of adjectives to make the, to make our description lively. Also, you can you can use the dictionary here in, in this case because sometimes uh, you feel like you have that feeling you want to describe something, but you don't have the words, especially it's a second language. Now. In your book, this is the page from your book, page 42. Before we start, I'm going to talk about something very important. Um, when they, when I'm, I'm thinking about the lesson today, I was thinking about all the cities in Saudi Arabia. Of course, I'm, we're very proud in, of in our country. We think that all Saudi cities are famous for, for example, this is the most important part. This is our national, for example, a feeling how we feel about our country. We are very protective. We like our country to be the best you know, country in the world. So each city has its own place in our hearts. So for us to choose a city, for me, it's difficult to choose one city because for me, it's they're all the same. I was thinking about, I was recalling like two days ago when the, the custodian of two holy mosques, King uh, Salman, talked about the situation now. It was very moving for us because we are facing a situation that we have to be connected. We have to be one. We have to be very strong. This is very important to stay at home. You're staying at home now, and we're here, you know, presenting the lesson for you. Each one of us is trying their best to be the Saudi that we want to be. Very important for me. If I would write a paragraph, I would write a paragraph about Saudi Arabia now. Okay, so I'm not. Um, I don't want to be emotional when it comes to this, but I am very, uh, very much. Um, I'm going to describe now how we can write a paragraph, whether it's about Saudi Arabia or how we present ourselves as Saudis or how proud we are of being strong, one as one. We're all working together as one community. Staying at home, you're doing your best. Working here, you're doing your best. Listening to the rules that the government asks us to do, doing our best. Wearing gloves, masks not gathering together. We love each other. We love each other, our friends and families. But now we shouldn't be together for our sake. Now, if you write a paragraph about Saudi Arabia or one of the cities, this is how you should do it. First one, you have to write, you have to brainstorm ideas for your description. The opening paragraph is very important because you have to say the name. If it's a city, one of the cities of Saudi Arabia, for example, Yomba, Al-Jubail, Tabuk, Al-Qasim, Najran, any city you choose, 
uh, you have to tell me the location so I know is it in the north or south why, why is, it, is that place famous it could be for example uh, it's famous for its restaurant or it's famous for uh, the environment or friendly people or huge parks uh, you can talk about buildings that are famous in that place it's also you can talk about the features the size is it the biggest city it is, is it one of the peaceful the smallest city and so on so the first paragraph you have to have like it's a, a small introduction you have to tell me what is the passage is going to be about okay now this is the I like that part because here you have uh, like mind map it will help you a lot it has questions now in the main part the two paragraphs you need to talk about the first paragraph will be what can you see there you're going to describe for me in the street in the for example in the north part of the city you will find in the center you will find and you have to describe the positions of different for example uh, locations like restaurants or parks or you can have museums or cinema and so on now if you uh, want for example more details in the second which in this case the first paragraph you're going to say what can you do there someone who's visiting the city they have no idea what they do there so you can say you can have long park for example walks you can talk to uh, for example you can uh, rent a car and so on I have other questions for you. I, I presented one of the questions so it's, it can help you. What are its, um, for example, other features? What is special about them? Why are they important? What uh, impression do, you, um, do they create? What, what do you want to see there? Or how can you do, for example, your exercises or your shopping centers and so on? Okay, this is the main part which has two paragraphs. Now, the closing paragraph, usually when you have a closing paragraph, it means that you're going to say how you feel. You can say, for example, um, this is the best, for example, experience I have been through, or uh, I had the great time using, and you have to give me a reason, for example. Or you can say, to, I would come and visit that place again. It's up to you. You can have a general comment or how you feel about that place. Now, when it comes to description, as I said, you have to think about different kinds of adjectives. Uh, it could be um, about the museums, it could be about, for example, the parks, it could be about the uh, environment or the weather, it could be about the people who are living there, it could be how, uh, it t talk about, for example, transportation, it could be about, for example, let's say, any kind of activities that are allowed there, and so on. Now, since we're not, uh, as you can see, now we're staying home, so we're not allowed to <laughs> visit, but if you think about going out in the future inshallah we will do that we will go back to our normal life and you want to to visit these places you can write about that now to end the lesson and this is very important to me I like to talk about that and maybe I am very emotional but when it comes to our country we are very sensitive um, if someone asks me how do you feel now I feel proud honored happy strong I can see that we are as one Saudi with one um, I don't know how you feel now, but I'm sure that you have mixed emotions. If they ask me, how would you write this situation? I would never find any kind of description. I'm thinking about adjectives. All of them are connected to how we should think about ourselves. Um, I know that one day we will look back at these, for example, times and we are going to be very proud. I wish all of you to be very uh, healthy and I want you to take care of yourselves and your family, not leaving the house, is taking care of your family. I want you to think about how you can harm or help us as a community. When people ask us now to stay home, and everyone's concentrating on that idea, it's not about asking you to do something you can't. You can do that easily. I mean, you feel like when you go in the streets, maybe you don't know, but when we go into the street and see some cars, we think, what are they thinking? Someone like as high as our king says, I want you to stick with us, I want you to be with us, I want you to, we're doing all our best for you. You should do everything you can because they are doing their best. They're paying money for the health care, they're paying money for the army, they're paying money for us. Like now, we're doing the education, on, this is like distant education, and do you think it's easy for us? No, it's not, but we're doing it because this is our part in our community. I think that you should do your part, staying home, being positive, not spreading any rumors, it's very important for us. This is very important. Most, um, most of the information that it's, we receive now from internet or the WhatsApp 
or the snapshot are very harming for you and for us. I don't want you to believe any of these ideas. We're good, we're fighting, we're, we're together, we're strong, we're happy, we're doing our best. There's nothing wrong. All you have to do is follow the rules, stay home, listen to the orders, do not leave unless one of you is going to leave for very important. You wear gloves, you wear the masks, you clean up because if you, for example, become selfish, you're going not just to hurt yourself, you're going to hurt the rest of your family, you're going to, rest, uh, to hurt the community because if you spread in one family, it's going to spread in all families. So I want you to think of Saudi families as one family. We are one. Like staying home, he, they say, I, I love that. Uh, picture I have it in my phone they say if you save stay home and save your home the small home you're going to save your big homes because Saudi Arabia is our big home and I want you to think about that very very this is very important it's not about you it's about all of us and I wish all of us will be thinking about that going back to that time thinking okay it was hard it was tough but we made it and inshallah we will thank you thank you so much uh, and I wish you all the best thank you I have to say something. Um, when I'm talking about, for example, um, and I want you to look at the colors that I have. When I talk about countries and I talk about Saudi Arabia, and they say, for example, what can you say about, for example, this experience? Uh, when I was asked to come here and teach, teach you now, I was very happy and I was very um, proud to, to, to say that, for example, it's not just a, a job for me. It's um, a very, um, let's say, it's, it's not just my role. It's for something that I need writing. to do. When I write about, for example, how Yanbu. I feel, what do I do? Yanbu, when, when I was, on example, Saudi Arabia's western Yumba, coast, so is one of the most relaxing cities I have ever visited. At that time, when we, Yanbu like, is example, made up of three villages, like three ago, Al Balad, think, okay, I Al Nakhil, and Yanbu al Sinaya, which are all very close to each other. To, uh, Yanbu example, is one of the oldest go, cities of the kingdom travel. and now has many interesting places to, to see. Have to think about that if you situation. walk along now, some of the narrow streets of the old part of the city, we'll go back you will see a museum and that. numerous impressive buildings, some of which are extremely city, old and so offer a fascinating now, look like into the history of Yanbu. This area used to be the home of Lawrence of Arabia. There is also a variety of options for recreation. Yanbu's beautiful beaches and opportunities for water sports, Nijran, such as scuba or diving or, or snorkeling on Saudi, Barracuda Beach and Coral Gardens, attract many tourists say, every year. Relaxing. There are also example, many places to shop uh, and restaurants where you can example, try like Saudi cuisine. It's, uh, very Yanbu is a very beautiful visit, city uh, of, and example, I had a fantastic city, time there. The it was an unforgettable experience like, and I hope uh, to visit this wonderful trees, city again. Or parks or on the coast, for example, in the north. Uh, in the south, uh, east or uh, west. The second part, you can describe the places there and you have to know the history of, our, of that city you're talking about. Uh, the, set, the third part, you can talk about the activities that you can write about in these places, like for example, uh, you can walk, you can uh, go shopping, there are a lot of museums and you can write the, the names of the museums. You can say it's uh, free. Uh, you have to be charged, you pay for that, for example, to be able to enter that museum or, for example, that uh, shop. Um, last one, when you talk about that city and you say, for example, Jubail or Yumbu or Jidda or Mecca or Riyadh or, for example, Taif, you can say, you can describe it. You can say it's a very beautiful city, it's a very peaceful city, it's a very, um, let's say, modern city, it has a lot of, uh, um, of activities that you can work with, but at the end, um, it's not going to be, for, you're not going to um, regret going to that city, or you can say that, I hope you visit that city so soon because you can present yourself, uh, you can find your, a lot of amusement, for example, in that place. Um, this is the one in your book. Of course, uh, you, can, you can use that as a guidance. I like, I like that you have that paragraph for you. But uh, if you want, the first thing you have to do is follow these rules. You have to write as much as you can before you start writing the paragraph. Because if you don't have names of places or locations or the size, or if you don't have description, you can't write a paragraph. All you have to say is like the name of the city and you have to 
you know, you can go online and search for that place. Uh, if you don't know the names, like exactly the names of the museums or the restaurants or the streets and so on. Uh, this is what I like because brainstorming in that part is very important. Uh, when you've put all the ideas, now you have to divide them. Which one goes for paragraph one? Which one is, you know, it's more suitable for paragraph two, which is what he, can you do there? Which one is suitable for, for example, paragraph, uh, uh, what can you see there, description, and which one is best for the ending? So the first part, write as much as you can, brainstorm, use the internet, Google, write the, for example, you could use the history books, and then you can divide that and write your paragraph. Um, I hope that you can write uh, also, <laughs> because this is like, um, yeah, I have to prepare. I don't like to write a paragraph about, um, I don't like to have a copy for you because I was thinking yesterday to write a paragraph, but I don't like to copy, to give you a copy so we would follow. And I know you're very good when it comes to writing. Um, I'm not going to give you examples because I don't want you to feel like, okay, I'm favoring one city um, or I'm giving you an example, this is the best city for me because to me, all cities are the same. So you can choose your own city and write about it. Um, and I'm giving you this, for example, guidance because I don't want you to follow my, for example, copy and do it because you have the one in your book, which is Yumbar. But you have to do is just, you know, follow it and try to, to write your own version, how you feel, uh, what you think of that place, uh, the places that you want to visit, uh, the activities that you should do when you go there so you won't waste your time. Uh, sometimes you have brochures, like when you go to visit any country, they give you that in the hotel, like this is the place where you visit. You can use these brochures, like you open that brochure and find the places that are historical or modern or art uh, galleries or parks and use that brochure to help you write as much as you can. When it comes to description, if you like, you know, certain places, you can give them there, like for it's very impressive, it's very fascinating. It's very uh, modern. It's, um, let's say, here, I think I have it here. I'm going to show you here. Uh, it's unforgettable. It's wonderful, interesting, relaxing. You can use, of course, these are just examples, but when you write that, the brochure will help you, you know, to, to put the ideas in, for example, and write them down. So when, at the end, you have a full paragraph describing the city, the reasons, the places, and you end up with a very good comment, like, I like that city, I wish you would visit it. Thank you so much. I know I've took, like I've talked about a lot of things, but uh, I hope that you understood the lesson. See you, inshallah, next time. Thank you.